watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. We continue our exclusive one-on-one -on -one UK football interviews now with Coach John Settle. Keith Farmer sat down with the assistant running backs coach and co-special teams coordinator during the spring practice session. Coach, first off, welcome to town, and uh, what's it been like for you getting settled in with the program? Well, thanks. I'm, I'm excited to be here. Uh, it, it's, it's been a whirlwind. You know, the initial process of coming in on a Wednesday, meeting with uh, Coach Stoops and, and Coach Cohen, and then um, leaving on a Friday, packing up my apartment in uh, Madison on Saturday and driving back Sunday. <laughs> you know, so it was kind of uh, a, a fast turnaround, but uh, things have began to slow down. I'm settling in. I'm now able to coach football. So and now that I'm at that point, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, a couple of times spent in, in Madison, that must have been kind of a tough decision to leave. Why, why was UK the right time for you? It was kind of uh, what was being offered uh, to me, uh, an opportunity uh, to uh, use some of the my skills uh, that I've obtained uh, through the years. I, I started out as a uh, special teams player and then uh, assisted uh, the special teams coach uh, at uh, some several places and then had op have an opportunity to have the coordinator title um, as well as to uh, coach the running backs in the SEC appealed to me and um, when you put all that together and, plus it, and, and look at the fact that Coach Stoops, uh, what he's done the last five years here you know, with the five bowl games and the things are heading in the right direction. Uh, it's something that uh, I felt like it, if I was going to move, it's something uh, that I believe would be a, a great move for me. And uh, plus it's closer to, to North Carolina. So my, my wife was excited about that. Did you know what was in the running back room before you got here? Or, or after? I mean, you obviously know it better now, but after you got here? When I got the text, uh, the first thing I did was look, and I, I knew of uh, Chris Rodriguez, and uh, then so I watched him. I'm like, uh, this guy, he, he's talented. He, he reminded me of a young man that I had coached at Pitt and uh, James Conner. And I was like, well, you know, so this, he's got a chance to be really good. And I, I knew uh, kind of uh, Kavazi uh, Smoke. I knew kind of a, a little bit about him. Didn't know uh, uh, past him, you know, uh, Tiz. And uh, I recruited Jatan. Uh, when I was at, so I knew that they had some guys. So uh, having a chance to work with those young men, uh, see them improve you know, over the, the 13 practices, uh, I'm confident that uh, I made a good move. Uh, they, they have an opportunity to be a special group. They're really good. It does seem like it's a, a pretty deep roster at that position. It is. And if you're going to leave uh, a place like Wisconsin, uh, you know, who uh, has a great reputation for the, uh, what they've done uh, running the ball, you want to go to a, a place where they have a, a, <laughs> a reputation of being able to run the ball, Kentucky, <laughs> where they have the, the, the cupboard is not bare. Kentucky. So, like I said, if you're going to leave, you're going to go to a, 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 an opportunity, uh, seek an opportunity where you can just uh, fit in uh, and, and help the guys continue to progress and grow. I don't want you to give any secrets away here, but well, the, uh, you've coached fullbacks that have been pretty successful too. Are we going to see more fullback here? No, I, <laughs> that, that, that's a question for, uh, <laughs> for Coach Cohen. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, my background, <laughs> I'm from the old school, so as a player and as, as a coach in some of the places I've been, uh, you know, I, I do like that, that uh, having that fullback in the backfield. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's something, the thing that I've noticed uh, in the three weeks <laughs> I've been here, uh, 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 the Coach Cohen is a very knowledgeable coach. I, I, he's young, but he, he, he's smart. Uh, and so if, if he thinks that uh, there's a package <laughs> for a fullback that will help us move the ball, then he'll, <laughs> we'll put it in. There are so many new coaches on the offensive side. What's that been like gelling with several different new coaches. I tried to explain it to some friends uh, and my wife uh, when I first got here. We, I walk into the, uh, the staff room and we sit down and we start talking football. And it was like I'd been here before. And I, I, I didn't know, <laughs> I, I, I didn't know Coach Cohen. I'd spoken to him on the phone. I didn't know Coach you know, uh, Wolford, uh, but I knew of him. Uh, so I knew of some guys, uh, I knew, obviously uh, Vince, you know, Coach Merrill, the Titans coach. Uh, so I knew the guys, I had heard and heard of Coach Bo Knight. So I, I was, but it was just, it was an interesting deal just sitting around the table and it's like, 
and I, because I know I've never been to Kentucky before, <laughs> but the, the just how everything just came together and, and we jailed. I mean, instantly. And so we, t we were speaking the same language, you know, certain things. And uh, so I felt it made everything a lot more smoother uh, to fit in. And I, I smelled, I felt at ease. We'll talk more about Coach Settle and his running backs room this weekend on BBN Game Day. Coming up next on BBN Tonight, we'll have the latest on the men's basketball assistant coach search. That's when we return.